welcome back inside the treasure chest. We have a haul today from a couple thrift stores we hit last week. Hit some with my mom, hit some just by myself. These are two mushroom houses. One group of, one family of mushrooms lives in these two houses. It's not a family of mushrooms that live in these houses, but Smurfs. These do not come with the Smurfs figures. These are just the two houses, and I paid up for these a bit. I paid $5 each. But when I was looking them up, they seem kind of hard to find or rare. Um, I saw one that sold different colors that sold for $26, just the house. And there's not a whole lot of others listed or sold. So I, I took a little bit of a chance, I guess, paying $5 each, and I figure I should be able to get, I mean, maybe that $20 each for them. We'll see. This is singing music. La, 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 la. So we still need to test it out, put batteries in it and everything. Not sure if it works. This one is a little, another kind of hard to find rare one, I guess. It plays by the beautiful sea. Hopefully it works. We'll get that. We'll test that out soon here and there's uh, sold comps between 14 and 24 dollars and I think there's one listed right now so a b c d e f I think these are some Halloween school cards it's a group of schools a family of schools I mean schools of course all right so we have a tarot deck dishonored tarot deck Paid $6.99 for it. I gotta go through and make sure all the cards are there, but there's sold comps between $18 and $35. I've read before that tarot cards are worth comping, worth picking up, so I guess I always check them out. I did pay, going to Savers, you really pay up for everything there, I guess, so we'll see. Make, see if all the cards are there. These are socks I had no idea about. All right, we have a pair of compression hosiery knee-high socks. Still new in the package and all kinds of numbers and letters associated with it. I don't know what they mean, <laughs> but I scanned it. There's a sold comp for $37 free shipping. So we'll try, we'll try that and see if we actually get that. Yeah, I don't know, paid $3 for it. This is a puzzle. I think Uncle had this. So this is from 1994, The Puzzle Place, a little black puzzle. I think my brother actually had this when he was a kid and paid $2 for it. And there was only, there was only one sold comp for $14 with the box, but there's none others listed, no other, no other comps. So maybe we'll price it at 20 or something and see what, see what happens. This is a Harry Potter game. And right under my finger is a music thingy that's used in the game. <laughs> See if all the pieces are there, right mama? Yep. Open. Nope. So we have a, nope. nope. <laughs> we don't say so. A Ravensburger game, who was it? I checked in the store to make sure all the pieces were in there, and they were, very, very good shape, seems like. Paid, I think $1.75 or something for it. It was actually half off. And yeah, it seems like a pretty, pretty cool, well-made game that, that, stop, that Ravensburger name is good. And that goes for $26 or so. This is a cool game controller, I think. Yeah, and it has three games, baseball, boxing, and soccer. I think I'm right, yes, I'm right. This is a PC Arcade Pro joystick. Still new, sealed in the box, a little bit of tearing in the packaging, but probably not the greatest buy. I paid $7 for it. I thought it was, I checked comps and I thought I saw, I thought I saw comps and I guess I really didn't, especially being that it's new sealed and it's old. I thought it would be, be good. There's one, there's one listed right now for $18 new. <laughs> So, and I can't find any sold comps on this particular one. I don't know. This is a pencil for books. Ta-da! So, uh, <laughs> Poingo, never heard of it. Looks kind of like the leapfrog pens that are out nowadays with the, the books where, 
I don't know, you use it on the book and it tells you the story, something like that maybe. Yeah. I do have to test it. Obviously, um, you know, it comes with the box, has the two books and the pen. And it was half price of the 1039, so five bucks for it. Free and up. And there's a the sold comp for $35. You, free, you can play with this. This is a unicorn. A Webkins Lilkins unicorn with the tag still new sealed. Paid two fifty for it, and it goes for about fifteen. These Webkins are easy, easy to pick up, easy to sell. If you can get them cheap enough, you know, with that sealed tag, they they always go. <laughs> so these are some little silver ones. Let's count how many plates. One, two, three, and there's also one more if you didn't notice. The name brand of this is Heller, made in Italy, and I, I went right over it at first. It just looks like another, you know, plastic plate set, but I, I looked it up because being made in Italy and I never heard of the brand before. So the bowl, uh, there's a sold comp for $14 for just the bowl, and then for the plates, there's sold comps for $9 each just on those, and then there's some more comps that are a little bit more than that with, you know, a set or whatever, but... I paid five dollars for it and so I mean I, I thought that was just something cool too that something you wouldn't expect I guess. This is a pizzeria pepperoni every kind of pizza cup. Pepperoni pizza popper. <laughs> the brand on this is Sakura uh, Province Apple. I don't know I typed all those in and, and you know with the mug to see what would come up. And There's a pizza sub on it. It's a cafe. There's a cafe on <laughs> there. Uh, this mug by itself sold for $13. If you have more of the mugs to go with it and that, obviously it could sell for a little more. There were two other mugs hey, there, please. but they were very scratched, and so I didn't get those. I only paid a dollar fifty for it, and I thought it was cute. Hey. This is Pac-Man. You probably found Pac-Man in the game Pac-Man. From uh, 2012, Namco, Pac-Man, and the Ghostly Adventures. Oh, Pac-Man plush here. Paid $3.50 for him. And there's a sold comp for him for about $30. And there's a bunch of solds uh, right around there, maybe a little less around that. And there's none listed right now. So I should probably, I should at least be able to get that $30, I'm thinking. So that was a nice, that was a nice pickup. This is, I think, a movie. We have Starsky and Hutch, the complete third season, new sealed DVDs. Paid $4, and it has sold for $60. Some of them a little less, but yeah, for four bucks. So it was a nice, nice find. I was kind of surprised, especially being that it's only, especially being that it's only one season of the show. But yeah, always check out those sealed TV shows. Uh, I, when you play video games, you might find a little, like, thing. It's a like disc. This is a disc, movie disc. What does that have to do with video games? <laughs> a Black Christmas DVD. I th think... I don't know. I mean, it's still it's sealed in some packaging. It doesn't say anything on there as far as new or used or no. Um, what do you call it? Like the what are they called? Watermarks. <laughs> but there is a sold comp for a brand new that sold for twenty nine dollars and pre owned that sold for twenty nine dollars, and then the ones that are all listed right now are listed at like a hundred dollars, eighty dollars. I don't know what's so special about this one, but. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we get for that. This is a koala animal. I have no idea who's a koala, but I know that's an animal. I think it's a hedgehog, and it says on the tag "Made in England, Liberty." So not a whole lot of information. I typed that in: in uh, "Made in England, Liberty, Animal, Plush, Vintage." There. There's a hippo one like this that sold for $27 plus $30 shipping from the UK. And then there's 
another hippo, a different hippo one listed right now for $74 plus shipping from the UK. So I can't find the hedgehog anywhere. So I don't know, maybe I'll list it at that $75 or so right around and see what kind of interest I get on it. I only paid 80 cents for it at Ambets. So, so we have a few things left. First we have a white cell, a bunny, and then we have some dolls. Hello, hello, hello. I'm on my back. One more thing, the cup. <laughs> the cup! Of course, I totally forgot. These few things here didn't I couldn't find comps on, but I got them anyway just because of what I got them for and I'll obviously I'll let you know why I got each thing. This is a giant microbes plush uh, T cell and it looks like it has like a prescription name on it. Omnisec, Omniseek, Immune Advance. Paid a dollar for it and uh, giant microbes sell pretty well, especially if you can lot them up. And I couldn't find this one at all. It might not be worth anything, but for a buck, I thought it you know it was different. I can't find it, so maybe a doctor will want it. He's holding on orange thing. Yes. And the hand is coming from his head. This is a Russ Berry bunny plush. His name is Shaggy. Pink, soft bunny. Um, I think his, his ears are posable. Could not find him anywhere. <sighs> Paid $1.50 for him. Rust berry is usually pretty good. There's, there's a lot that are common and aren't necessarily worth, but I thought he was cute, and with Easter coming up, I figured he might, he might go. I got a grab bag with some Barbie Kelly dolls. I've been collecting these from the bins or if I can find them cheap enough at thrift stores and that, I'm trying to get a whole lot of them to lot up and um, I didn't really look up a comp on a lot of them, but if you can lot them up, they, you know, it can bring decent money, especially if you get them for so cheap. So I'm just trying to get a whole bunch of the Kelly dolls that I can lot up together and sell them that way. And this is actually a Starbucks cup, but it's missing the lid. It's California and it's you know ceramic. I'm on the lookout for a replacement lid. Maybe I could just buy one, just the lid, I don't know. But I, I thought I, I liked it for myself even. So that's, that's why I got it. I paid $1.50 for it. Even with the lid, it's not worth a ton, maybe 15, 20 bucks, but I, we lived in California for a little bit of time. And so I saw the cup and I liked it and got it for myself. So now it's my turn. I'm going to show you what we sold for the day. Uh, just happened to be on this day that we were recording. We figure we'll throw in real quick uh, some of the sales we got today. Six things going out today. Uh, nothing too crazy. We'll just get through them real quick and show you what we got. First thing I'm going to pack up is a brand new singamajig Janelle found. She listed it in January and it sold for $29.90. Uh, if you see a price with 90 cents at the end, that means Janelle priced it. I don't know why she puts 90 cents. I put 99 cents, whatever. And when I lower the prices, when we do the relists and lower the prices as months go on, I switch it back to 99. So kind of gives you a little hint on uh, who priced the item. Second thing going out is a little caroler. Sold for $18 even. I'm guessing Janelle priced that too because I never price things even numbers. I sent an offer on that. Oh, offer, that's we, we had it, it was listed for $19.90 and I just sent an $18 offer to see if that they'd bite. It's a little, uh, it's a little buyer's caroler. I don't know much about these and why she found it, but uh, whatever. That's getting shipped out to Illinois, so we'll get that packed up. Next thing's been listed since October, and it is an IKEA teddy bear. It's going out the door for twenty-two dollars and ninety-nine cents plus shipping to Connecticut as well. So we'll get that packed up. <laughs> it's packed up. Packed up. Sold some vintage Avon lotions. Uh, we bought a bunch of these at a sale. I think we got footage of it, didn't we? I don't know if I did a video on that or not. Yeah, I don't know. Bought a bunch of these. I think we got them all for like a dollar each or something. And then I lotted them up by flavors. And this went out the door for $17.95. I actually just lowered the price on this and just listed, relisted it today. So that's pretty cool. Sold an Activision Skylanders figure. And I believe you play this with the Wii. It's a little figure and it's got like a barcode reader thing on the bottom or something. I don't know. We never really played these. Have we ever played these, buddy? Have you played with these? 
I mean, yes. Yeah? Um, at my Nana's house. At your Nana's house? Yeah. Me and Uncle played a game with those. So that went out the door for $11.99, and this is part of a big, huge lot of, uh... This is part of a big, huge lot of figures that I bought. I'm probably going to lose money on them, but we're trying to just get them out the door and make what we can on them. <laughs> Last thing that sold is a Bette Midler record, Beaches, and that's been listed since October, and that's going out the door for $9.99, and we'll ship that media mail. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing what we found at the thrift stores, seeing what we sold tonight. Uh, if you like what you see and want to see more, subscribe, give us a like, let us know what you think, and we'll see you next time. See ya. Thanks for watching.